Lord. Praise the Lord. Shall we pray? Our dear loving Father, we want to thank you tonight for bringing us here. We are grateful for keeping us till this hour. We worship and we exhort your name to be among the living tonight that we worship you. Father, we say may your name be exalted in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you because of what you have done for us from January till now. And we thank you because of the one you want to do to us tonight, Father. We pray that none of us will miss your best in Jesus' name. We pray that, Lord, we will not be deceived by dosing off or by sleeping off, but, Lord, you will steer us up so that that which you want us to receive tonight, O oh Lord, as our Father in the Lord has told us, Lord, we pray that every one of us will stay awake to receive the vision in Jesus' name. As we want to exalt your name in our choruses now, we pray that you accept our praises in Jesus' name. And as we worship you, Lord, the wall of Jericho will fall flat before us in Jesus' name. And more of your blessings, Lord, you will bestow on us in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father, because we've answered our prayers. For we've asked and prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. Come bless the Lord, O ye servants of the Lord. Oh, yeah. 
With thanksgiving in my heart, I will enter his court with praise. I will say, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. Hallelujah, I am so glad. He has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. As he made you glad. Hallelujah, I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Ah, he has made me glad. I am so glad. We Marching forward, hallelujah, amen, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We are marching forward, amen, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We are marching forward. Forward, forward, ever, hallelujah, amen, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, amen, we are marching forward, 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 ever, I have seen the Lord's goodness, his mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord's goodness, his mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Oh Lord, you have been so good. You are so good to me, oh Lord, you are excellent in my life every day. Oh Lord, you have been so good, you are so good to me, oh Lord, you are excellent in my life, in my life. I have seen the Lord's goodness, his mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh Lord, you have been so good. You are so good to me. Oh Lord, you are excellent. In my life every day, you are so good to me, oh Lord, you are excellent in my life. March on to victory, Jesus has conquered. March on to victory. We are more than conqueror, amen. To victory, Jesus has conquered. March on to victory, we are more than. Brethren, march on to victory, the Lord has conquered. 
March on to victory, we are more than conquerors. March on to victory, we are more than conquerors. March on to victory, your Lord has conquered. March on to victory. We are more than conquerors. Jesus shall reign forevermore. Save your wonderful night, last night of 2019, and we are crossing over to 2020, 2020 vision we will receive. Amen. We want to go to the Lord in prayer. Before we pray, I read from Psalm 106. Praise ye the Lord, O give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can show forth all his praise? 
Blessed are they that keep judgment, and he that doeth righteousness at all times. The scripture is enjoined us to praise the Lord. Why do we need to praise the Lord? I read from First King, chapter eight, verse fifty-six. Blessed be the Lord that had given rest unto his people Israel, unto our church. According to all that he promised from January 1 to today, December 31st, 2019, according to all that he promised, they had not failed one word of all his good promise, which he promised by the hand of Moses, his servant, which he gave us by the hand of our general superintendent, his servant. I also read from Joshua. I read again from Joshua chapter 21, verse 45. There faileth, there faith not, out of any good thing, which the Lord has spoken unto the house of Israel, all came to pass. All that the Lord has given to us from January, with all the promises of the word of God and all that the GS told us that this year 2019 will be the best we have ever lived, it came to pass. For this purpose, we are raising up our voices and we are thanking the Lord. Open your mouth and thank the Lord for all that the Lord has done for us. All his promises all came to pass. Glorify the Lord. Magnify his holy name. From January to now, God kept you alive. All these promises, you are partaker. All the things that the Lord had promised us through his servant, our general superintendent, our pastor, all came to pass. Spiritual blessing, family blessing, business blessing, good health blessing, all those promises all came to pass. Give the glory to God. Let's thank the Lord. Let's bless his holy name. Count your blessings and name them one by one. And you see what the Lord has done for us as a church. What the Lord has done for us. What he has done for you as an individual. What he has done for your family. Bless the name of the Lord. The Lord kept you in faith. Those that backslid, the Lord brought you, you back on himself in 2019. Souls were converted. The, the Lord expands his kingdom. He brought souls unto the Lord. The final solution, Jesus retreat. Handed last week, you were partaker of the blessings. Prayer that were ushers on us. God had everything. That is why you are, you are here tonight. God did great wonders and miracles among us this year, 2019. Bless the name of the Lord. Glorify the name of the Lord. If you have thousands of tongues, they are not sufficient to praise the name of the Lord for what God has done for us. Continue to praise him. Continue to praise him. Continue to praise him. Continue to praise him. As you praise him, he's going to shower blessings on us even tonight. Continue to thank him. Look at your own life. What God has done for you. Bless the name of our God. In Jesus' name we pray. We need to thank the Lord that the Lord did not take our pastor, our prophet, our preacher, our leader away from us. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Let's thank the Lord. The Lord strengthen him spiritually, physically. You are all eyewitnesses of all the Lord did through him. Continue to praise the name of the Lord for his travel in prayer, in preaching, in teaching us. 
this year 2019 that is we soon pass. God did great things, wonders and miracles. God kept you in the kingdom through the word the Lord gave him. He preached to us. He prayed for us. He got concerned about our families, about our church, about our youth, our children, our campus. Brethren, let's thank the Lord for what the Lord has done for us. Begin to praise Him. Begin to praise Him. Begin to praise Him. Let's thank the Lord for the unity we enjoy in the church. One accord. Spiritual blessings. Salvation, sanctification, baptism, and the Holy Ghost. Power for strength to go out. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Thank Him. Glorify Him. Thank the Lord, thank the Lord, thank the Lord. Bless his holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. We are here tonight. The pastor has been telling us, promising us about 2020 vision. It will come to pass tonight. You will be a partaker. I will be a partaker. The Lord will do it for us tonight in Jesus' name. See, the Lord brought us together tonight. Let me read to you, Jeremiah 51, 50, chapter 51, verse 20. Thou art my battle axe, and weapons of war, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdom. The Lord will do that in our life. This night, vision 2020, the Lord will pass it across to you. He will pass it across to me. You will see clearly. You will hear clearly. You will get power to run faster. God will be glorified in your life. 2020, a year of living for Christ, more and more, a year of doing work, work, exploits for the Lord. Open your mouth and pray that, Lord, tonight, as the message will be coming up, this vision, 2020 vision, help me to see clearly, to hear clearly, and to receive power to run faster. That every area of your life, of my life, tonight, as God will be giving all the promises, as God will be giving all the message, that the grace to obey, the grace to obey, the grace to obey, the grace to walk according to the precepts of the Lord, the Lord will grant unto you. Open your mouth. The Lord has prepared a pastor for us tonight. Pray also that it will not be only at the headquarters that we will see all locations all over the world. As we are entering very soon, the year 2020, every location where the retreat, every church location where our brethren are gathering, they will receive. As we are receiving here, they will receive. Pray, open your mouth and pray. That this coming year will be glorious. More glorious. More glorious. Open your mouth and pray. Just tell the Lord, Oh Lord, while you are passing the message across, while you are passing the blessings across, do not pass me by tonight. I want to cross to 2020. Fully 
with the blessing of the Lord. For me and my house, 2020 we will serve the Lord. Pray and talk to the Lord for every member of this church. Lord, we need your grace, abundant grace to serve you 2020. Lord, tonight, tonight, open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my ears that I will hear and I will see tonight. I know you are prepared to receive what the Lord has for us in the message of tonight, 2020 vision. The Lord has prepared our pastor, a GS, to be a channel of blessing to us tonight. And as we are crossing over 2019, from 2019 to 2020, you are in for blessing already. That you are here, you are in for blessing already. Just tell yourself, I am in for blessing already. Everything that we said, I will receive my own portion. Nothing will distract you. You will not sleep from 2019 to 2020. You will be alive. You will be alive. Pray and talk to the Lord. Lord, meet me at the point of my need. Meet me at the point of my need. Meet me at the point of my need. At the scripture will be open to us tonight. Lord, speak to me. Lord, meet me at the point of my need. Don't leave me to myself. I know you have much for me tonight. Begin to bless the name of the Lord because he will do much more than you have asked. The Lord will do much more than you have asked. The Lord has seen you that you are prepared for the blessing already. The Lord has seen you that you are prepared for the blessing already. And he will not miss you in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for all that you did for us in this year 2019. Lord, we are grateful for spiritual blessing, physical blessing, family blessing, church as a whole blessing. We are grateful for how you kept our pastor. Lord, that you did not take our shepherd away from us, we are much, much grateful, Lord. I say by thanks in Jesus' name. We are ready for blessing tonight. All that you have for us in this 2020 vision message, Lord, we will receive with faith in Jesus' name. Year 2020 will be better, greater, deeper, broader, wider for us in, in the, your blessings in Jesus' name. Thank you because you have answered. Continue for us as we go in the program. In Jesus' name, we are praised. You are blessed already. More blessings coming on your way. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. Tonight will be great. And the greatness has started already in Jesus' name. Let's listen to this important announcement. As we have the power night of the watch night service tonight, um, Tomorrow morning, we are not reporting here by 6 a.m. Rather, we'll be reporting here by 7 a.m. 
and then we pray, have our breakfast before those wonderful messages that begins, I mean, the coming year. And I'm sure that tomorrow you will come in good time by 7 o'clock, be fully ready for the fullness of God's blessing tomorrow in Jesus' name. Tonight, we are going to just take a few of the wonderful things God has done in the lives of people. You know, our God is a wonderful God. And um, if we begin to testify of all the things God has done, there will be no time for that. But what we do tonight is that we are going to take a few of these testimonies and um, that is to reassure you that the next person to testify is you. I mean, it's you. And of course, it's me too. And we will all be blessed in Jesus' name. So it is testimony time now. And I want you to listen and let that actually ignite your faith so that tonight you are going to receive and for the coming year, you keep receiving every day in Jesus' name. So it is testimony time. The first person to testify can come up now. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Olulade Omolade. I thank the Lord for the opportunity he has given me. I praise the name of the Lord. I was a wretched sinner. The Lord has saved me. The Lord, and the Lord has uh, continued to keep me to this time. I thank the Lord. I come from an uh, old Oriokuta group in Ikorodu. The Lord has done great and mighty things for me. Some time ago, I was having very serious stomach ache. And as I was being uh, by the time I was taken to the hospital, I could not urinate, I could not excrete, and I could not fat. The only thing I was good at doing was just to vomit. By the time I was taken to last suit in Ikeja, the doctors said that they were going to do operation for me. And uh, by the time we entered into the th uh, theater, that's why the fact that there were a, uh, a team of doctors they made two major mistakes on me. They said that their knife mistakenly cut my bladder and uh, also my large intestine was also pierced. So by the time they looked at the situation, they said that I was going to do two major operations to be able to correct the two mistakes that they have made. But the brethren, they kept on praying for me. I did a lot of scam, but there was a particular time they said I was going to do scan by 8.30 a.m. Monday morning. Uh, by the time we, I slept from Sunday to Monday morning, in the night, I just saw a man by my side. By my bedside, I was sleeping. I saw a man by my bedside. He opened my stomach with a zip, the zip that we used to open our clothes. So I was, I was wondering, that, is there a zip in the stomach? Then he started uh, arranging all the bladder, the large intestine. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He rearranged everything. After that, he looked at it to be sure that he has done everything. And when he saw that he has done it perfectly well, he zipped it up again and keyed it in. <laughs> Praise the Lord. By the time he keyed it in, I just discovered that he vanished. I couldn't see him again. By the time I opened my eyes, it was between 4 a.m. and 5 a.m. in the morning. So by the time I was taken for the scan by 8.30, the doctor kept on saying, Madam, what happened? I explained. Madam, what happened again? I explained. Madam, what happened again? So, <laughs> praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So by the time they, he said I should uh, 
I should stand up. Then I went, I was taken back to the ward. My husband waited for the, re, for the result. So it's, yeah, by the time the doctor saw the results, they were, they were jumping up and jubilating. And from that time, they, they did the remaining tests and found out that everything was okay. The remaining two operations, they couldn't do it again. It was canceled and I was discharged. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Is there anything that God cannot do? And uh, I want to tell you that this is just to tell you that God is going to do something for you this coming year. No matter how difficult people may think about any situation, expect and see what God is going to do. We want to listen to the next testimony now. Yes, the next. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Kingsley Okwegwale. By the grace of God, I am born again. I gave my life to Christ when I was in Fonfoy Secondary School. And since that time, the Lord has kept me. I'm a member of Idimu Pipe 9 District in Idimu Council group of this street. I want to testify about the law, how the law saved me from sudden death. Precisely on July 19th, we're having the third weekly program. So I got to the church that day. I didn't drive to work. So after the first seminar, my spouse came to me and said that she's sorry that she forgot. I didn't drive to work day, but that she has gone to the market and bought some things that she dropped in the church, I needed, we needed to carry home. And I said, okay, after the seminar, I will go home and bring the vehicle because our place was not too far from that place. Immediately after the first seminar, before the pastor could come up for the second message, I went home to bring the vehicle. On my way to the church, we, our church is located in the estate. The gate that leads to that estate was between 8.30 and 9 p.m. Arm robbers, they have waylaid that gate. So little gates were running, they told me arm robbers. And all the vehicles were queued. So I put my car in reverse to go back. I hit the vehicle behind me. So I stopped. I waited for the one in my front to reverse. After I reversed his car, it turns. I also did the same thing and reversed. Meanwhile, the vehicle behind me that had been stuck also reversed. So in my process to escape, I crashed into him. And that now landed me into the canal. Meanwhile, these armed robbers, three of them were walking towards me. They started shooting at the car. They shot at everywhere. Then the glasses have scattered. I started saying the blood of Jesus intuitively. The blood of Jesus. So one of them now came, opened the door, and faced my forehead with his dagger and said, your life or your money? I said, I will give you money. I'm a member of Deeper Life Bible Church. My bag is in the church. The second one had it and said, this one, now blood of Jesus, you won't give us. He walked straight to the car opened the door, faced my forehead with his dagger, and said, your life or your money? I said, I am a member of the Palai Bible Church. I will give you money, but my back is in the church. He walked away. And then after that, sympathizers now trooped down, and then they were wounded that, am I still alive? So one of them now quickly took me to the specialist hospital around the estate there, where they quickly administered some injections for me to stop my blood from dripping out. After that, they brought me to the scene of the car where a couple now came there and they got to the scene. They were wondering, they want to see, the, are you still alive? Are you still alive? That was how, by the grace of God, they take, took me to Lagos State University Teaching Hospital Emergency Ward that night. And to God be the glory, the doctors worked out. God spared my life. And not only that, the glasses that fell and fell on my eyes, they stuck to my eyes. To God be the glory. After about three days, they were able to remove everything. And to God be the glory, I'm alive today. And to God be the glory, I have my sight. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The promise of God is that no weapon that is formed against you will prosper. Believe it, it is so for every one of you in Jesus' name. The next testimony, please. Yes, move on. Children of God, praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. My name is Brother Godson Ndoago. 
By the grace of God, I gave my life to the Lord in the year 1977. And the grace of God has been so abundant to me to this very day. The testimony I want to share with us what the Lord did to me during the just concluded retreat. I came to the retreat on the 21st of December. After the first day program, about 12 midnight, I had a very sharp pain in my stomach. The pain was so terrifying. Because of the same pain, after Easter retreat, I was hospitalized and operated on. I was in hospital for 32 days. So the pain came up again. The pain was so serious. My family, they joined in prayer. And after that, I was taken to the prayer warrior. The brethren prayed. But to God be the glory. On the 24th night, I was just sitting down on the bed, rolling. At a time, I just feel a kind of sensation. A cool breeze come over my body. I told my wife, I'm feeling calm in my body. After a while again, I noticed that something was happening in my stomach, as if rope was tied in my tummy, and that rope was being loosed. The rope was being loosed. At a time, I just had calm. Brethren, at that very point, I regained my health. Praise the Lord. All the pain stopped. Until today, I'm enjoying the health the Lord has given to me. Jesus, the final solution. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. The, the healing is permanent. The sun has set him free. He is free indeed. The next testimony, please come up. And uh, the next person should be getting ready so you will get closer and uh, we'll be able to take the testimonies, please. Praise the Lord! <laughs> Old Testament people, praise! the Lord. I'm sure other states, they are watching me at this moment. Anambra State, Benue State, and the whole of Lagos. My name is Pastor Jacob Ododo, Old First Tech District. Now, my group is Mebamu Group. He is the man that was paralyzed for eight good months. Amen. Amen. God is so wonderful. The problem started January 2016. I managed myself to come to Congress here. After the Congress, I was having serious pains. All over my body, we are going to a hospital. Eventually, it reached a point. I could not make use of my two legs anymore. And my elder brother came in from Anambra State. He took me down to the state. We went to various hospitals over there. Went to Azikiwe Teaching Hospital. And then, with all the tests they conducted, they said I was having problem with my spinal cord. They referred me to Enugu. Went to a particular hospital there, and then they said, we should get inside. We went inside. They asked us to pay two million naira for the operation. Amen. Amen. Then I look at my senior brother. He looked at me. He said, we cannot go through this operation. We have to return back home. Let prayer go on first. We went back home. We started praying. They shared prayer all over of Lagos and beyond. Praise the Lord. But I want to tell you, miracle took place. When uh, the general's pretendant, he visited Asaba, Delta State, on 2nd October 2016, on Sunday service. I could not see him. They carried me on the mattress. I lied down there. And then he was preaching. 
after he's preaching, he said, miracle will happen this morning. Amen. Amen. You know, his prayer was not up to five minutes. He opened his eyes. He said, what you have not been doing before? You get up and begin to do that thing. And then he said, ushers, check up. Ushers, they rushed me with my elder brother. As they lifted me up like this, my two legs. Praise the Lord. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, my brother. You God know, bless you. This time, at that time, my bladder, everything, my fingers, everything was folding. Nothing could work. But I'm telling you, pastor carries power everywhere. Praise the Lord. As he met me in Delta State, God's powers struck on me. And today, what is happening? Praise the Lord. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. As the next person is coming to testify, you know, when we saw all those uh, meetings at Asaba, I never knew that one day I will see what I was seeing on the screen here. This is a living testimony. Give us your testimony, my brother. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. My name is Brother Festus. I'm from Central Church, Ekwe. I'm very happy to be here this night because I thank God my testimony goes like this. On the 4th September 2019, I have a serious accident by electricity. I was shocked by light that the incident too, was so too much that two hospitals reject me. They say they can't do this. They can't do this. They, they direct us to go to General Hospital as Marina. And when we, re, when we reach there, even the doctors, all of them, they are just scared. But I thank God for the glory of God, by the prayer of Ekwe Church, Deeper Life Bible Church as Ekwe, with the prayer after two weeks, all my wood, all my face that was wood, everything, all the wood gone. Even with my heart, this is my heart. My heart, I can't operate my heart anymore. This is my heart, it folds like this. They give me the number, they give me one number, I should contact this number, I will do surgery. After that, I called the number. The, the man told me that that day is uh, Ide Ajogule. I said, okay, I'm about to go to Ekwe now. How can I reach you? He said, I should not worry. I should go to Ekwe. When you reach Ekwe, we contact you. I said, okay. When I reach Ekwe, I still call the man. He said, I should not worry. He will call me. I said, ah. I even asked my wife. I said, ah, this man is a spirit. Why he just say we reach, uh, are they for BI? He said, we reach me. Are they for Ekwe? He said, we reach me. With the prayer of God, without surgery, my heart, I can move my hand now. I can do my heart. I... Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is wonderful. Please, sister, come and give your testimony. And all these things you are witness tonight, I'm telling you, it will not just be witnessing, but you are going to experience one tonight. As sister, give your testimony, please. Comfort. I come from uh, Ifeja and Deji Street of uh, Gagada Group. I gave my life to Jesus in December 25, 1982, and since then, God has been helping me. Early this year, our Father and the Lord prophesied that 2019 will be the best year we have ever lived. It is so with me, my brethren. 2019 is the best year I have ever lived in my life. I will be. Praise the Lord. I will be 70 years old in, the, in May 2020. Now, the first thing I realized is that uh, God gave me grace. Grace to serve him inside the church and outside the church. Grace to read my Bible even more than ever before. And grace to pray. You see, my brethren, for the first time in my life, I did not go to the hospital throughout 2019 years. Praise the Lord. And I did not, I did not use my money to buy any drug. 2019, for the first time in my life, I became a landlady. 
God is wonderful. Praise the Lord. 2019, for the first time in my life, I traveled overseas. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God is wonderful. God is wonderful. And tonight it is your turn in Jesus' name. The last testimony, but it's going to be very, very short because not much time he left. Very, very brief now. And the next one will be your testimony. Very brief, please. Praise the Lord. My name is Daniel. By the grace of God, I'm saved. I gave my life to Christ 2013. And when I gave my life to Christ that year, though I was attending Celestial Church before, then when I, when I gave my life to Christ, my parents, my brothers, and everybody there, they did not even allow me to come to Deeper Life. But I said, no, I want to serve my God in Deeper Life Church. They said, anytime I attend Deeper Life, is persecution or persecution. No food, no water, nothing, nothing at that day. I will lead down, they will flog me. But now as I'm standing before you, they are saved by grace. My brother that were persecuting me then, we said that I should not even go to a deeper life. By the grace of God, in this, this year, April 7, it was, it, they ordained him as pastor in the church. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! You know what God has done tonight, and what I want you to do is, those your hands, I want you to give clap offering unto the Lord. Give clap offerings unto the Lord. Our God is a great God. Our God is a great God. Praise the Lord. Now, listen to this. Listen to this. This is a special moment. How many people are expecting like I'm expecting? How many people are ex you are charged and you are expecting tonight that God is going to surprise you? Look, let me tell you, I still believe that this year is the best year. And because of that, something will happen tonight. Something will happen tonight that will make everybody to say, there have never been any year like 2019 in my life. And 2020 will be greater in Jesus' name. We are welcoming our Father in the Lord now, and I want you to rise on your feet because this is the moment we have been waiting for. Praise the Lord. Church, I said, Praise the Lord. I thank the Lord for the testimonies we have heard. And I thank God that all those testimonies will be repeated in your own life. The best year you ever lived. 2019. And then something higher. Something greater, something mightier coming 2020 in Jesus' name. There'll be no exception. Everyone, where is he? Everyone, where is she? The Lord has blessed you. Sorrows taken away. Tears wiped away. Something new. Something great. Something unforgettable. There will be no disappointment in your life. Are you still there? Father, we thank you today. We bless your name for this special period special moment that you come with power you come with authority 
You come with supernatural strength. You come with a final solution in every life. Lord, I am praying that your people will be so happy they belong to you. Your people will be so catered for and they will know the best decision they could have taken in their lives is to belong to Jesus, the final solution. And I pray, Lord, unbelief will get away. Doubts will get away. Mediocrity will get away. And all the fears of the past, all the wavering of the past, all the suffering of the past, everything will vanish away in Jesus' name. This night, your people will cross over. Lord, I pray, not a hoof are we going to leave behind. None will be left behind in Jesus' name. Grant your people 2020 vision, 2020 strength, 2020 triumph, 2020 miracles. Thank you, Lord, because we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's cross over now and give a 2020 amen. God bless you. God bless you. You can sit down. Tonight, as we come to this special watch night service to end up 2019 and to start 2020, I'll be talking to you to lift up your faith, to draw the curtain aside and make you see the great possibilities in your life for this coming year. I'm talking to you on our 2020 vision of the final solution. Our 2020 vision of the final solution. Somebody help me shout 2020. It's in Second Chronicles 2020. Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20. In 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20. And he rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. <laughs> Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. <laughs> That's the 2020 vision. The Lord is bringing before us. And he says for 2020, the year, to be prosperous, the 2020 year to get you higher than you have ever been in your life. The 2020 vision of the final solution is that you believe in the Lord your God. Every situation you meet will carry a promise of God. Believe in the Lord your God. Every circumstance in your life that you come to in the year 2020 will have the final solution. 
a fresh solution, a full solution, ultimate solution. And all you need to do is to believe in the Lord, your God. But then you won't see God face to face. As he told Moses, nobody can see me and leave. He will use his ministers, believe his prophets, and so shall ye prosper. Don't let there be, be any doubt in your heart. Believe the ministers he has commissioned, the prophets he has commissioned, and he has put his word in our mouth. You must prosper. You must succeed. And the year 2020 that sees you Believing in the Lord your God and believing his prophets will make you always above every storm of life. Look at verse 4 of this chapter. Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord. Even out of all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. They had a problem. They had a challenge. And the problem, the challenge, affected all their cities. Affected all their people. It was a universal problem. And then that brought them together for a universal solution. All of us, Every family, every believer, every member in this church, 2020 will always produce that solution. Verse 12, O oh, our God, wilt thou not judge them? For we have no might, and we have no strength, we have no knowledge, we don't know what we're going to do, we have no might against this great company that comes against us. Neither know we what to do, but our eyes are upon thee. Our eyes are upon thee. A financial problem comes and you don't know what to do. If any family problem comes, you don't know what to do. If any official problem comes, you don't know what to do. If any community problem arises, and you don't know what to do, your solution is in 2020 vision. Look at that again now. Verse 20. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tequa. But they didn't know what to do, but they asked one God. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, hear me, church, in all our states, Church in all the countries of Africa, church beyond Africa, and hear me, all the members of Jerusalem, our headquarters church. This is a solution for the year 2020. <laughs> Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Nothing will uproot you. Nothing will displace you. Nothing will crush your life. Nothing will make you waver and become unstable. You will be established. Believe this prophets. You've always done that. You've always accepted, always believed 
the word from God will present to you more than ever in the year 2020. Believe this prophets, and so shall ye prosper. Spiritually, you will prosper. Physically, you will prosper. Financially, you will prosper. In every area of your life, you will prosper in Jesus' name. Our 2020 vision of the final solution. Three things we're looking at before we pray. Number one, crossing over with the final solution. What that means is we have the final solution already. Even before any problem arises, the final solution is with you there. And with the final solution, holding that, keeping that, we cross over. Point number two, carrying over the fresh solution. Carrying over, not a stale solution, not the good old days when there was solution every day of the year 2020, there will be a fresh solution. No matter what comes, no matter the perplexity, you are carrying over to the next year the fresh solution. Number three, climbing up, going up, progressing, soaring up, Climbing up for the full solution. Climbing up, this coming year, you'll be going up. You will not be going down. This coming year, you'll be soaring up. You will not be sinking down. Climbing up for the full solution. As we have seen, that we are crossing over with the final solution. Come to Joshua chapter 3, reading from verse 5. Joshua chapter 3, reading from verse 5. It says in verse 5 of chapter 3, Joshua. Sanctify yourselves for tomorrow. For tomorrow. What's the date tomorrow? For tomorrow, I said, what's the date tomorrow? The first of January. Solution final. For tomorrow, the Lord will do wonders among you. But it says, there is a condition. Sanctify yourselves. As we think of coming or going or moving on, arriving at the year 2020, the Lord tells us, as for his power, no problem. As for his might, no problem. As for signs and wonders, no problem. As for miracles, no problem. As to opening closed doors, no problem. As to making your Jericho walls fall flat, no problem. As to crossing River Jordan and going to your possession, no problem. But it says, you cross over with the condition that you're going to have Solution spelt out in your life is sanctification. Sanctify yourselves for tomorrow. The Lord will do wonders among you. The Lord had called Joshua 
And the Lord had given him promises. And the Lord had laid conditions for him. And those conditions spell out solution. S. Sanctify yourselves. O. Obedience. It says all these commandments you will keep. You will not turn to the right. You will not turn to the left. But everything I've commanded you, you will do on that condition. There shall not any man be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. And the Lord then said, Be strong and of a good courage. For unto these people thou shalt divide for an inheritance the land. You will possess your own portion. Which I swear to their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mightest observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. And then he goes on to say, Turn not from it to the right or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest as sanctification o obedience el love you love god with all your heart and with all your soul it is because the lord loved the children of israel that he promised the land of canaan to them the land of promise and then he said as the Lord loved your fathers and has loved you and has brought you to himself, so you will love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength that it may be well with you. It will be well with you. As sanctification, O obedience, El love you uprightness as they went on in their journey and as they crossed river jordan and as they surrounded the walls of jericho and jericho fell down flat the walls of jericho will fall down before you <laughs> and now they were to go to ai to conquer ai they discovered something went wrong and yet we know god cannot fail and he had said he will not fail them and so joshua went before the lord and said look at this what am i going to say before the enemy they will come and swallow us up god said get up there is something an accursed thing in the camp and as long as that accursed sin is there in the camp, I cannot go with you. Get up and search and get rid of all that sin and then come back and I will be with you again. Uprightness is demanded. God does not want a secret compromise. God does not want a secret sin. God does not want a secret transgression. God does not want a secret defilement. He wants you and he wants the whole church to be upright and to stand upright. That is the condition. If sin comes in, if transgression comes in, if their corset sin comes in, 
If compromise comes in, then the wonders you cannot do again. Uprightness will be the standard of living every day by every believer, every member in Jesus' name. Good amen now. T, truthfulness. 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 They had some failures on the way. And it's because the truthfulness was missing. That's why Joshua said, Achan, my son, tell me the truth. What have you done? See now, we have had some failure. We have had some setback. What did you do? And he told the truth. Not only that, the Gibeonites came to them and they wore clothes that were old. And they had things like the wine skin old. And there was no truthfulness. And Joshua did not check up. And because he believed their lie, and he believed their falsehood. He didn't have the victory. They ought to have for the Gibeonites. As we move on to the next year, today's coming year, 2020, the condition of having the final solution going with us and going through is that there will be sanctification. There will be obedience. There will be love. There will be uprightness. There will be, tell me, truthfulness. I, integrity. Integrity. And Joshua maintained that integrity, that honesty every time. And because of that integrity, he didn't waver, he didn't bend, he didn't cut corners, he had power with God. That's why he could command the sun, stand still, it stood still. And the moon, stand still, it stood still. He overcame every battle, eventually he overcame. Every battle you will overcome. Oh, orderliness. They were to go around the walls of Jericho. And Joshua spoke to the people. God will not appreciate this orderliness, this unity. Everyone going his own direction. And he said, watch. The priests will go before you. And when they go before you, you will go after them once a day around the walls of Jericho. You will not talk. You will not say a word. There will be no gossiping. There will be no murmuring. There will be no complaining. There will be no chat, 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 talk, talk. You will be quiet. Once a day, go around, settle down. The following day, go around, settle down. The following day, go around, settle down. On the seventh day, still with your mouth shut, without saying anything, you will march in an orderly fashion around the walls of Jericho. And when I tell you to shout, all in unison, no extraneous voice, you shout, the walls will come down. Orderliness should be the mark of, of our lives, the hallmark in our lives, that everything we do, we do everything decently and in order. This is what the word commands. 
and we do that what the Lord has commanded in nourishment. Do not you not show yourself, you nourish yourself on the word of God. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth every day. You will not speak your own word of unbelief, your own word of doubting, your own word of fretting, your own word of worry and anxiety. Take the word of God. Take the promise of God. Take the precepts of God. This book of the Lord shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein. Day and night, day and night, you wake up in the day, go into the world. The world will bring wonders in your life. You are going to sleep at night. Before you sleep, go into the world. The power in the word of God will overshadow you and walk in your life all through the night in jesus name in the day the word in the night the word that's what during the day will that determine the direction of your life that's what during the night will moderate will take care of every dream you have and then it says to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Then thou shalt have, tell me, good success. Point number one, crossing over with the final solution. And you take it with you. Sanctification. Obedience. Love uprightness, truthfulness, integrity, orderliness, nourishment with the word. Come to point number two. Point number two, carrying over the fresh solution. We'll come back to Second Chronicles 20, 20. In 2 Chronicles 20, 20, it says in verse 20, And it rose early in the morning. This coming year, no laziness in our lives. No oversleeping in our lives. The student, get up early and begin to study after your quiet time. You are a worker, professional worker. Rise up early. After your quiet time, let the time of your strength be given to the work and your calling. You are a minister. Get up early in the morning and make sure that you soak yourself with the word of God. Don't allow the society to impose itself on you. But you rise early in the morning and it says they went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. You have some things to do. Rise up early in the morning and itemize them. I'm to do this, I'm to do this, line them up. Rearrange them. In the order of importance, rearrange them in the order of difficult, challenging, normal, habitual, easy, a walk over. And don't start your day with the easy, easy, easy things. Early in the morning when you wake up, you are fresh. Early in the morning when you wake up, you are strong. Don't spend those good hours 
on simple, simple things you can easily do later in the day. Attack the area that is very important, very difficult, an assignment. When that is done, put that aside, go to the next one, the less important. And so, when you spend your days and you itemize what you are supposed to do, and you attack and you address yourself to the difficult ones first, you are going to make progress. And then he said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God, and so shall ye prosper. Believe. 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 You might come to the Red Sea, and it appears we've not seen this before, Believing in the Lord your God, you'll be on the other side. You might come to River Jordan. And you say, are we going to cross over? Moses is not here. Moses is gone. All the same, believe you will cross over. Jesus told his own disciples, he said, let's pass over to the other side. They got into the boat. As they got into the boat, there was a storm. A storm, a wave, a challenge, a difficulty will not cancel the word of the Lord. All you need to do, believe in the Lord your God, and so shall ye prosper. But then, that's one side of the coin. The other side of the coin is believe his prophets. And so shall ye prosper. Don't allow familiarity to bring contempt. Don't allow familiarity to bring unbelief. Don't allow familiarity to bring disrespect. If you disrespect someone, you can't believe him. If you belittle someone, you cannot believe him. If you resist someone, you cannot believe him. you cannot believe him. If you fight against the authority of somebody, you cannot believe him. And yet, here lies our success. Here lies our victory. Believe in the Lord your God. And so will you be established. Believe his prophets. And so shall ye prosper. You will prosper in Jesus' name. Moses was the Lord giver. Moses was a great prophet. Moses was a great miracle worker. And when the whole nation needed water, he just spoke to the rock, or he struck the rock, and water came out. And when they needed to pass over the Red Sea, he stretched the rod, and the sea was divided into two. All that he did showed that he was a mighty prophet of God. But Miriam and Aaron were of the same parents with Moses. And Moses happened to be younger than Miriam, younger than Aaron. And because of that closeness, there was familiarity that brought contempt. And they began to speak behind him. It's only the one that hears from the Lord. Don't we also hear from the Lord? And the Lord heard it. Because of that familiarity, 
because of that contempt, because of that gossiping, because of that murmuring, they couldn't have all they could have from Moses. Don't allow that to happen to you. If we have been working together, moving together, and if we have been doing everything together, and you've been here now for 20 years, 25 years, 30 years, you've seen the ups and downs, that might pose a challenge to you to believe his prophet. And that might hinder you from prospering the way you ought to prosper. You will not allow familiarity to make you lose your blessings in Jesus' name. The 2020 vision of carrying over the fresh solution is that you believe in the Lord your God, you'll be established. You'll be established in the truth. You'll be established in the faith. You'll be established in your blessing. You'll be established in the promised land. You'll be established in your victory. You'll be established in an overcoming life in Jesus' name. Then believe his prophets. And so will you prosper. I will prosper. I said, I will prosper. You'll prosper in Jesus' name. Job chapter 29. Reading from verse 20. Job chapter 29, verse 20. My glory was fresh in me. Every day of this coming year, the glory of the Lord will be fresh in you. Power will be fresh in you. Authority will be fresh in you. Success fresh in Jesus' name. My glory was fresh in me. Verse 20. Then he goes on to say, And my bow was renewed in my hand. Your weapons to defeat the enemy will be renewed and strong in your hand in Jesus' name. Unto me men gave ear and waited and kept silence at my counsel. After my words, they speak not again. And my speech dropped upon them. And they waited for me as for rain. And they opened not, they opened their mouths wide as for the latter rain. You will be a blessing to multitudes of people this coming year in Jesus' name. What they lack, you will have. What they need, you will possess. They will look up to you. And you will be a blessing to them. Psalm 92. In Psalm 92, reading from verse 10. Psalm 92, reading from verse 10. But my horn shalt thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Fresh anointing. Fresh unction. Fresh power. Fresh authority. Fresh manifestation of the Holy Ghost in your life every day. Mine eye also shall see my desire on mine enemies, and my ears shall hear my desire on the wicked that tries up against me. 
the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like the cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the court of our God. You will flourish. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. I think you, you are not old yet. That's why you are saying amen. They shall bring forth fruit in old age. You will not quit. Quitters never win. Winners never quit. You should be able to say, when the road was rough, I did not quit. When the pressure was much, I did not quit. When the challenge, the challenges rose in my personal life, in my family life, in my professional life, in my ministerial life, in my spiritual life, I did not quit. You will not quit. There are people that quit too soon. And they think of quitting too soon. A challenge has risen. A problem has come. And instead of remembering that this fresh problem will produce a fresh solution, they just throw their hands up in despair. They say, I know I cannot make it. How do you know? You will make it. I know I don't have what it takes. How do you know? That's what Moses thought when the Lord called him. He said, Lord, give the commission to another man because I am a stammerer. Don't think about who you are. Think about who he is. And he is the one calling you. You will make it. Don't think about, oh Lord, I'm a child like Jeremiah. And the Lord said, don't say I'm a child. You will do everything I've called you to do. Until old age, you will still be bringing forth fruit. They shall be fat and flourishing. I will flourish. I said, I will flourish. You will flourish in Jesus' name. Point number three, climbing up. That's your direction. Climbing up. I said, that's your direction. Climbing up. You are going up. You are going higher. And every day of 2020, you'll be going higher and higher in Jesus' name. Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20. And they rose early in the morning and went forth. Rose early in the morning and went up. Underline that word, rose. There was um, the story of a man, still had an old mother. And this man did not rise up in good time. He was there on the bed. And the mother was looking at the time. And he said, are you not going to school today? And he said, I'm afraid. I don't think I want to go to school today. And then the mother said, why? Oh, because all the teachers hate me. All the students hate me. And they do not respond to me favorably. 
school was he? He was the headmaster of that school. God put him on top at the head and he was afraid of the people under him. So he wouldn't rise up early. When he thought of going to school, he thought about those teachers and he thought about those students. How can I face them? And the mother said, be a man. Get up. Go to school. If there's anything to iron out and resolve with your teachers, resolve it with them. You are the head. God has made you the head. You will not be the tail. The tail might want to take your place. How can the tail do that? When you are the head, you have to lead the way. Don't be afraid of the tail or the tails. Don't be afraid of your subordinate. What are they going to do to you? Are you so weak? You're afraid of the frown of a little child? Are you so weak and inexperienced? You're afraid of the threats of a little boy, a little girl? Are you so much afraid? You've gone to training college, you've gone to university, and you're now a teacher, a graduate, and you're afraid of those who are in the junior secondary with all that you have learned. What have you learned? What do you know? You've learned all that mathematics. You've learned all those chemical things. And you've learned such a lot, you cannot learn how to be courageous before a primary school child. Rise up. There's something before you. Progress is before you. And you know, those young people at school, they depend on you to pass their exams. They depend on you to make progress in life. They actually look up to you. Don't look down on yourself. Don't fear to get your market. Don't fear to get to the places you ought to get to. Rise early in the morning and say, This is the day the Lord has made. I'll be glad and rejoice in it. There'll be victory for you that day. There is no day of 2020 that God has not made. God has made each day. And each day will bring faith. Each day will bring courage. Each day will bring stamina. Each day will bring backbone. And if you happen to be that headmaster, rise up. Go to school. And when you get there from the very gate, greet the porters. Show that you have joy. Show that you have purpose for living. He rose up early in the morning and went forth. You will go forth. You will go forth. In evangelism, you will go forth. In preaching, you will go forth. In programs, you will go forth. And in crusades, you will go forth. And in teaching, you will go forth. In the assignments the Lord has given to you, you will go forth. This coming year, in a few minutes, it will come. And I want to declare to you, I will start afresh, I will go forth. Say it for yourself, I will start afresh and go forth. And when you go forth, remember now, to the battlefield, but you will not need to fight. The God of heaven will fight for you. The angels of heaven will fight for you. The battle is not yours, the battle belongs to the Lord. And so they went forth. And then Jehoshaphat said, Hear me, O Judah, are ye inhabitants of Jerusalem? Believe 
It's a command. It's not a suggestion. It's not just an idea. It's not just an opinion. Believe is a command. And God cannot tell you, cannot command you what you cannot do. Don't say, I cannot believe. You will believe. And if thou canst believe all things are possible to him who believes. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Believe the Lord your God. Make sure he remains your God. Don't backslide. Don't be frightened away from being a child of God, a member of the family of God. Satan will not frighten you to run away from God. Unbelievers will not frighten you to run away from the family of God. Believe in the Lord your God. And so shall ye be established. That new business will be established. Every situation in your life established. Your family established. And believe the prophets, his prophets. Don't believe false prophets. Believe his prophets. And so shall ye. And so shall I. And so shall we. I see prosperity before you. I see health before you. I see the goodness of God before you. I see that all your needs are going to be met, are going to be prospered in Jesus' name. And I see that every detail of what God has promised you for this new year, everything will be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Psalm 23, this is your psalm now. For this coming year, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not lack. I shall not miss anything. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Wonderful year for you. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness, leading me beside still waters. He restores my soul. Your soul restored. Your strength restored. Your substance restored. Everything you need in your life which you have lost, restored in Jesus' name. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I keep on walking. I keep on walking. I see it's a valley. I see it's dark. I see the shadow of death. But I'm not ready to die yet. I said I'm not ready to die yet. I keep on walking. You'll keep on walking. I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table for me. In the presence of mine enemies, thou anointest my head with oil. And my cup runs over. Surely, no doubt, surely, certainly, in reality, goodness and mercy shall follow me. Shall follow me. Shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house 
of the Lord forever and ever and ever and ever. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Psalm 91. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Surely, He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence he shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be the shield and buckler thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that moveth, flies by the day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side. And ten thousand at the right hand, it shall not come near thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee. To keep thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread on the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample on the feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him I will set him on high, set him on high, and de I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. It will answer every prayer you pray from tonight to the new year in Jesus' name. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him. I will honor him with long life. With long life. Satan will not cut short your life. Evil spirits will not cut short your life. Powers of darkness will not cut short your life. With long life will I satisfy him and show him and show him and show him my salvation. I say chapter 60 Isaiah chapter 60 arise and shine arise and shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee in verse that's the last verse now of this Isaiah 
chapter 60, verse 22. A little one shall become a thousand. And a small one, a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it. I, the Lord, will hasten it. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. My own time has come. My time must come. My time must come. If you believe that, arise and shine. Rise up. Rise up. You will shine in this coming year. You will shine in this coming year. Open your mouth and tell the Lord, I'm crossing over. I'm crossing over. 2020 vision. I'm crossing over. 2020 year. I'm crossing over. For well, the final solution, be sanctified, be obedient, be loving, be upright, be truthful. Have integrity, be orderly, be nourished in the world. Crossing over, crossing over, keep the final solution. Every word you have heard during the final solution retreat, keep the final solution. Move on. Carry over the fresh solution. Don't allow the solution to be stale. Carry it with you. Carry it with you. Carry it with you. Climb up. Rise early. Face the challenge of the day. Do your work. Go to pray. Necessary to work. Watch and pray. Work and pray. Witness and pray. Believe and pray. Climb up for the full solution. And the Lord is your shepherd. You will not want. You will not lack. Don't be beaten back by the threats of a powerless enemy. Get up. Rise up. Climb up. Move up. Final solution, living one day at a time. Fresh solution, living one day at a time. Full solution, living one day at a time. Believe in the Lord your God. And so will you be established. Believe in the Lord your God. So will you be established. Believe his prophets. And so will you prosper. That's the 2020 vision. Don't abandon it. Hold on to it. Stay with it, establishment and prosperity await you in the new year.
In Jesus' name we pray. Crossing over brethren, in Jesus' name we pray. Final solution believers, in Jesus' name we pray. Daily fresh solution believers, in Jesus' name we pray. Full solution carriers. Full solution carriers. Climbing up. Rising up. Going up. Soaring up. Making progress every day. In Jesus' name we pray. You have crossed over already. Goodness and mercy will follow you. Signs and wonders will follow you. Power and might will follow you. Health and healing will follow you. Prosperity and wealth will follow you. The Spirit of God and the Scripture in, unite, in unity together will follow after you. The name of Jesus, the authority of Jesus, the anointing of Jesus will follow after you. Raise up those sons, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We we'll thank you for your word. We we'll thank you for the 2020 vision. Lord, I proclaim to every life this word of establishment, this word of authority and power, this word of prosperity in every area of life will follow your people in Jesus' name. For everyone, 2020 vision, 2020 triumph, 2020 victory, 2020 prosperity, 2020 achievement, 2020 glory, 2020 progress, 2020 marching forward, and 2020 realization in every life in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray no one will miss any of your blessings. No fear, no fretting, no fainting, no anxiety, no worry, no panic. We are established. Every brother, every sister, established. We are prospered. Every brother, every sister, prospered in Jesus' name. Lord, this year will be great. This year will be glorious. The umbrella of heaven will be over you, everyone, all through this year in Jesus' name. The Lord will go with you. The Lord will be with you. Each day, one day at a time, you'll possess your possession. Each day, one day at a time, your spiritual life will be up, not down, in Jesus' name. Everything God has ordained for you in the courts of heaven, like rain coming down, will come upon your life. The life will be enriched, established, fulfilled, happy, joyful for you, for your family, for the local church, for the district church, for the regional church, for the state church, for every church in every nation, deep alive, for everyone at the headquarters. Joy, 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 strength, 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 power, 
authority, the breaking of every yoke. You will not have any setback in this coming year. Arise, move on. Victory with you. Victory running after you. Victory meeting you on the way. The Lord put testimony in your mouth in the days coming in Jesus' name. Well, thank you, Lord, because we know it is done. It is done. That brother, it is done. For that sister, it is done. For every family, it is done. For the old church, it is done. For families in every life, in Jesus' name. Put your hands together, glorify the Lord. Rejoice before the Lord. Rejoice before the Lord. The Lord has answered your prayer. 2020 establishment for the new year will never stop in your life. Happy, prosperous, glorious new year to everyone in Jesus' name.